This is the latest unseen inside scoop on one of the biggest, most extravagant weddings of the year. 29-year-old Anand Ambani, the youngest son of Mukesh Ambani, the richest man in Asia, got married to his longtime girlfriend, Radhika Merchant, just hours ago. The caliber of attendees range from celebrities in both Hollywood and Bollywood to aristocrats and global leaders. The event truly highlighted the billionaire family's staggering wealth and influence. Let's look at the heartwarming love story of Anand Ambani and Radhika Merchant, two childhood friends who became life partners in the union of two mighty Indian families. The Ambani family is headed by business tycoon Mukesh Ambani, rated as the 11th wealthiest man in the world. The family lives in Antilia, a 27-floor building that is one of Mumbai's most prominent landmarks. It costs more than $1 billion to erect and has a permanent staff of 600 servants. According to the Forbes Billionaire List, Ambani's net worth is about $120 billion. As a chairman of Reliance Industries, he inherited an industrial enterprise that he expanded into different sectors, including retail, telecommunications, and others. It is not the first time he is throwing one of his children an outrageous wedding. He gave his daughter the most expensive wedding in India to date in 2018. It reportedly cost up to $100 million and even had Beyonce perform at the event. Pharmaceutical tycoon Biran Merchant, the father of Radhika, is an influential figure in the Indian finance and investment community. His career has spanned several decades. Through his diligence and consistent dedication to Encore Healthcare, he's built it into one of the largest healthcare industries in India. According to Forbes, his business has a projected net worth of about $240 million. Though a prominent figure in his country, Radhika's father keeps a low profile, but he's also the director of many leading companies in India aside from Encore. Radhika's mother, Shalia Merchant, also holds directorial positions in several other companies. Anand Ambani is the newest husband in town, a Brown University graduate who holds a pivotal role in Reliance Industries. Anand oversees the conglomerate's renewable and green energy expansion. He is also known for his love and welfare efforts for animals, especially through his 3,000-acre animal rescue center, Vantara. His newly wedded wife, Radhika, is 29 years old, a graduate of NYC University. She works in the healthcare sector, where she serves as the marketing director for her father's company, Encore Healthcare. She also doubles as a classical Indian dancer. The couple have remained tight-lipped about how they met, but according to reports, Anand and Radhika were childhood friends. When the time came for them to further their education, they chose different paths. The rumors of them being together first started when a picture of them went viral on the internet. In the picture, Anand and Radhika looked love-struck as they both rocked matching olive green robes. Fans started speculating, but the couple did not address these rumors, which further fueled the speculations. These rumors got stronger as Radhika joined the Ambanis at Lake Como in Italy for Isha Ambani's engagement ceremony. She was there as a family friend, but her pictures with Anand went viral again. Some sources at the venue had also suggested that something was brewing between them. In 2018, when Isha got married, Radhika attended all the wedding festivities. She was even a part of the four who walked with the bride during her Pulanki Chatter, also known as Canopy of Flowers ceremony. It was clear that the merchants were really close to the Ambani's. The following year, Anand and Radhika were again spotted together during Akash Ambani's wedding. In December 2021, when Akash and Sholka Ambani's son, Prithvi's first birthday was celebrated in Janagar, Radhika was seen present there as well. By now, everyone knew that the couple was next on the list. It was June 2022 when the Ambani's hosted Radhika's Arangistram ceremony. The ceremony was the ritual that marked a dancer's graduation and ascent to the performing stage for the first time. Since Radhika was a trained Bharatnatyam, meaning classical dancer, this was the graduation ceremony, and it made sense that it was hosted by her would-be in-laws. At this point, the cat was out of the bag, and the family had to confirm their youngest son was ready to get settled. Finally, in December 2022, the Ambani's and the merchants officially announced that Anand Ambani and Radhika Merchant were set to tie the knot soon. 
a raka ceremony was held at Trinachi Temple in Natwara in Rajasthan. This was followed by a grand engagement ceremony in Mumbai in January 2023 that officially welcomed Radhika into the Ambani family. Following the traditional ceremonies, two star-studded pre-wedding events were held in India and abroad. The wedding celebrations began in March with a three-day gala for 1,500-plus guests in the family's refinery township of Janangar in the state of Gujarat. Rihanna performed her first concert since last year's Super Bowl for wedding guests, including Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg and ex-US President Donald Trump's daughter Ivanka. Even David Blaine was flown in to perform his brilliant magic tricks. A second leg of the pre-wedding celebration in June was a four-day Mediterranean cruise with 1,200 guests. Singer Katy Perry performed at a masquerade ball at a French chateau in Cannes, while the Blackstreet Boys and US rapper Pitbull also provided entertainment. DJ David Guetta played at a toga party at sea. The cruise ended at Italy's Portofino, where legendary tanner Andrea Bocelli thrilled the party in the town square. In July, a musical night traditionally known as the Sangeet saw Justin Bieber perform at the Nita Mukesh Ambani Cultural Center, an arts venue founded by the groom's mother, Nita Ambani. Social media has been flooded with photos and videos of him singing in front of an ecstatic audience. Part of the pre-wedding celebrations include a feast for 50,000 people in the Ambani's hometown of Janagar in Gujarat during the first round of parties. They also organize a mass wedding for 52 underprivileged couples near Mumbai, promising to support hundreds more such weddings across India. During a pre-wedding event, Anand said his mom worked 18 hours a day for four months leading up to the parties. All this is created by my mother and no one else. And my mother has gone all out for the last four months. But the mammoth celebration were yet to culminate in an actual wedding ceremony where the couple would eventually tie the knot. The event started on July 12, 2024 at the Geo World Convention Center in Mumbai. The festivities of the year's most lavish wedding went on for four days and ended on July 14th. The extended celebration was set to raise the bar, with celebrities, politicians, and business elite jetting into the mega city of Mumbai. With the Indian luxury wedding market becoming so big in recent years, reaching a market cap of $75 billion annually, fans couldn't help but hold their breath and wonder how deep the Ambani's would reach in to their seemingly bottomless pockets. The Ambani intern didn't reveal how much the pre-wedding had cost them or how much the actual wedding would cost them. But wedding planners estimate they had already spent anywhere between $132 million to $156 million. It was rumored that Rihanna had been paid $7 million for her performance, while the figure suggested for Bieber was $10 million. Planning such an event was going to take an entire village, according to four wedding planners who gave interviews about what was going into organizing the multi-day Indian wedding of the year. The planners also pointed out that a typical multi-day wedding that they plan costs between $1.2 million to $2 million, and about 40 to 50% of the budget was swallowed up by the venue, which included catering and rooms for the guests. Then the cost of decorations, which include elaborate backdrops, tents, and floor-to-ceiling floral arrangements. And if a lot of artists, including singers and celebrity DJs, were going to be invited, then millions would go up in flames. In fact, a planner said, now when it comes to a high net worth wedding or a celebrity wedding, everything becomes 10 times or 100 times that cost. There is no bar in the budget. Manish Malhotra, who was serving as the wedding's creative director, worked hand in hand with Anand's mother, Nita Ambani. In an exclusive interview, he said, Planning the wedding has taken over a year of dedicated meetings, countless brainstorming sessions, and endless attention to detail. The wedding events are crafted to be immersive, bringing to life new stories and experiences while staying true to the core vision of celebrating Indian heritage and grandeur. When asked about what guests should be expected, he replied, Rest assured that the guest list will be as illustrious as it is exclusive, reflecting the stature and significance of this extraordinary celebration. The wedding invitation was an intricate chest incorporating a mini silver temple, and it was sent to 1,000 guests who had been specially invited. This was the wedding of the year, so why have a typical printed wedding invitation card? The families decided to send their guests a large box adorned with an image of Lord Vishnu. The box contained the mantra and patra, the invitation, and several gifts for the guest. 
The invitation card stated that Anand and Radhika's Shubhviva or wedding function was to be held in Mumbai on 12th of July at the Geo World Convention Center in BKC. And the wedding was going to be performed in accordance with the traditional Hindu Vedic day. The main wedding ceremonies start on Friday, July the 12th. Saturday, the 13th, would be the day of Shuba Ashiwad or Divine Blessings. The Sunday would be the Mangal Utsav or the wedding reception while Monday rounded up the celebrations. Friday saw the main formal ceremony open at the Geo World Convention Center, a 16,000 person capacity venue. The star-studded affair kicked off with the Shub Viva ceremony held around a fire. Current Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi made an appearance and took time to congratulate the couple. Many other political bigwigs, including the former Indian leader Ramnath Kovind, British High Commissioner to India Lindy Cameron, and US Ambassador to India Eric Garcetti, were also in attendance. Former British Prime Ministers Boris Johnson and Tony Blair were also spotted by reporters arriving in Mumbai airport. Famous celebrities such as the Kardashians were the latest in a long line of famous foreign VIPs to make an appearance. Elder sister Kim shared an Instagram story showing her car mopped by Indian photographers shortly after her arrival, and both siblings receiving flower garlands from staff at their luxury hotel. Fellow celebrity guest Hollywood actor John Cena arrived for the wedding wearing a light blue Indian outfit called a salwar kameez and posed for cameras on the red carpet upon his arrival at the venue. Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jonas were pictured after arriving at the venue of the wedding. Bollywood's Shah Rukh Khan, his wife and children arrived in Mumbai on Friday for the wedding weekend. They were not the only Bollywood legends at the event, which had Amitabh Bachchan and Aishwarya Rai Bachchan. Other Bollywood A-list actors inside included Deepika Padukone, Ranveer Singh, Shahid Kapoor, John V. Kapoor, Vidya Balan, Ali Abad, and Ranbir Kapoor. Sports stars were also represented in the person of former Indian cricket team captain M.S. Dhoni arrived with his family, and FIFA president Johnny Infantino joined the celebration. Big wigs like Samsung chairman J.Y. Lee were also among hundreds of famous figures who made an appearance. Beer bicep sensation and prominent YouTuber Ranveer Alabadia was spotted in the wedding in a powder blue kurta. The groom had his own procession, otherwise known as Bharat, while the bride was being prepared for her grand reveal, or the Kanya Agamon. Fans even got emotional as actors Shah Rukh Khan and Salman Khan shook legs together at Anand's Bharat. Madhuri Dixit was seen dancing to the iconic Bollywood classic song, Choli K. Pechi Kia Hai. Several celebrities were also seen dancing as Madhuri brought back the steps of the 90s popular song. FIFA president Johnny Infantino and Ranveer Singh were seen dancing, just as actress Ananya Pandey was also spotted on the same stage in a lemon yellow colored lehenga. When Radhika appeared in her bridal ensemble after her bridesmaids, flower girl, and ring beer, she was the vision of elegance and tradition. Featuring a beautifully embroidered lehenga that showcases the designer's signature craftsmanship. She looked nothing short of a dream in her stunning wedding attire designed by the celebrated duo Abu Jani and Sandeep Khosla. This Abu Sandeep's intricate interpretation of Panitar was the Gujarati tradition of brides wearing red and white. The Ivory Zardozi cutwork ensemble consists of a trailing gagra layered with a second detachable trail, a 5-meter head veil. The Gagar glitters with three red borders. Its workmanship is the finest amalgamation of Nakshi, Saudi, and Zardozi, symmetrically hand-embroidered and intricate floral booties that are lavishly decorated with stones, sequins, and tamba tickets. Radhika's pre-wedding dresses had included custom designs from Versace, Dolce & Gabbana, and a vintage Yves Saint Laurent for Dior. Another was a sweeping chiffon dress printed with a love letter from her husband-to-be. Radhika stated, I want to be able to show it to my kids and grandkids and say that this is what her love was. Clearly, the wardrobe department was incredibly furnished and had enough funds to go as far as possible. The bride and the groom exchanged garlands. The couple then performed the Ferris, taking seven steps in the Sapta Padi. The bride and groom take these steps to represent the first seven steps you take together as husband and wife. The moment has finally arrived. Anand Tambani and Radhika Merchant exchange vows amid international celebrities and business tycoons. Having completed the marriage ritual, 
the newly married couples received hugs and greetings from family, friends, and well-wishers. Critics allege that this close relationship between Mahdi and India's richest man has led to crony capitalism, a system under which business leaders benefit from strong relationships with bureaucrats and politicians, who are particularly incensed when the Indian government temporarily upgraded the Jamangar airport status from domestic to international overnight in March for the pre-wedding festivities, with staff, military, and air force personnel deployed in service of the Ambanis. The government's civil aviation office later stated that it did not have any information about which rules and provisions were followed to designate new status to an airport rarely used otherwise. Rajan Mira, CEO of air charter company Club One Air, told Reuters that the family had rented three Falcon 2000 jets to ferry wedding guests to the event. The guests are coming from all over, and each aircraft will make multiple trips across the country. Similarly, this weekend we'll see restricted access to roads leading up to the wedding venue in Mumbai, with residents slamming officials online for calling the Ambani wedding a public event. Several major roads around the venue have been closed. Police have imposed traffic diversions around the wedding venue from Friday to Monday to handle the influx of guests who will be flying into Mumbai, where heavy monsoon rains have caused flooding and flight disruptions for the past week. From Friday to Monday, roads around the convention center will be open only for event vehicles between 1 o'clock India time to midnight, stated Mumbai police. It affects our earnings. I don't care about the wedding, said Vikram, a taxi driver who only uses his first name. Clearly, while the world is celebrating the union of the two lovebirds, it is safe to say there is so much more to be expected.